Blue Ox Energy Products and Services is the exclusive HVAC and fuel company of hometown sports. Good luck to all the athletes this year. We're at Delaware Academy in Delhi for a Section 4 Class C Division 5 contest between the Delhi Bulldogs and the Green Trojans. The winner of this game claims second place in the playoff spot, while the loser is eliminated from the playoffs. Green won the toss, and Jeff Day kicks off for the Bulldogs. Alex Henry fields the kick and gets a decent gain before fumbling it away. Delhi has the ball, and they get it going on the ground as Brenton Hood slices through a hole and takes it to the 17-yard line. Now Nate Rockefeller gets in the act, and he takes it down to the six. With the ball at the four, Rockefeller takes it through the line and into the end zone, and Delhi's up six to nothing. Green gets it back and starts moving as Kurt Spear completes a pass to Daniel Say for a first down. Spear's looking to pass again, but Jason Wake steps in front of it to make the interception, and he takes it the other way down inside the 20. They fake to Rockefeller, and Pat O'Connell keeps it. We'll see him come into our picture and into the end zone, and now the Bulldogs are ahead 14 to nothing after the conversion. Green's offense is still having trouble getting started as the Bulldogs stop them on third down and force a punt. Delhi keeps moving the ball, and Brenton Hood takes this one inside the 10. Then he gets it to the 1 to start the second quarter, and he scores to give Delhi a 20 to nothing lead. They go for 2, and Chad Rockefeller gets the pitch on the option and takes it to the corner to make the conversion and give Delhi a 22 to nothing lead. Later in the quarter, Delhi gets stopped on the 3rd and 7, and they have to punt. Alex Fletcher gets his punt blocked by Alex Henry, and Dwayne Sherman takes it in for the touchdown, and Green cuts the lead to 22-6. They go for two, and Alex Henry takes it in to make it 22-8. We'd go into halftime with that same score. At halftime, it was juniors versus seniors in a powder puff flag football game. Back to real football, Delhi opens the second half with the ball, and Brenton Hood gets the call. He gets through a hole, cuts it inside, and he's off to the races. Nobody's going to catch him. Hood goes all the way for a 65-yard touchdown, and Delhi takes the 30-8 lead. Green has a hard time getting it going, but they get a big break when Josh Wake fumbles on this play. Then just like that, Kurt Spear drops back and lets it fly. He has Dan Say in the corner of the end zone, and he makes the catch for 23 yards and a touchdown. That makes it a 30-14 game. I wonder if this guy realizes he has Mickey Mouse for an umbrella. In the fourth quarter, Green stops Dal High on third down and forces a punt. But Kurt Spear and the Trojans can't take advantage as Spear's bomb gets intercepted by Jason Wake. The Trojan defense comes up with another big stop and gets the ball back for the offense. Spear finds Dan Say on the far side and he gets it down near midfield. They go for it on 4th and 3, and Spear finds Say again for a Trojan first down. Spear takes matters into his own hands and scrambles to the far side, and he gets it all the way down to the 10. Spear keeps it again on 2nd and goal, and he gets it down inside the 5-yard line. Then on third and goal, the Bulldogs think run, but it's a pass, and Spear finds Zach Whitaker all alone in the end zone, and that makes it 30-20 to 20 after the missed conversion. Delhi's trying to put the game out of reach, and Jason Wake gets a handoff. He slips the tackle, and he's off to the races. He's down the sideline, and he finally gets pushed out of bounds at the one. 
Brenton Hood takes it the rest of the way, and Delhi's up 36 to 20. Green's got it at their own 26 with under a minute to play. Kurt Spear lets it fly out of the shotgun formation, and he finds Dan Say in stride, and he takes it to the house for a 74-yard touchdown, and now it's 36 to 28 after the conversion. Green tries to get it back on an onside kick, but the Bulldogs recover and run out the clock to win 36 to 28 and clinch the playoff berth. They'll play Elmira Heights at Union Endicott's Ty Cobb Field. Let's hear from Coach Kelly and the players. This is the first time in a couple of years, and uh, we're certainly had it as our goal. We're happy to be there. Uh, second half, was, uh, we made some critical errors that uh, would concern us a little bit, but we, you know, we were doing quite well there for a while. Oh, it feels great. You know, our last three seasons have been kind of losing seasons, and finally we get to be up there with the top dogs and be able to compete in the uh, playoffs this year. I'm just thinking, hang on, hang on. Secondary's got to make plays. We've got to get after the quarterback. They can make some bad decisions. And that happened. We picked a few passes off, and then we had some long runs. It feels great. We haven't uh, had any big, big games the last few years. Our team stepped it up defense, offense. Offensive line made some blocks in the first half. Got some big runs. Overall, we stepped up real big. 